Hello everyone, this is Sonia from Sonia's Quilts and Embroidery in North Alabama. And I am going to do some fabric painting or dyeing. I've cut, these are some pieces of fabric that I had where I trimmed the backing or lining off the back of a quilt. And this, this is a 100% cotton muslin. I washed it in regular detergent and two ounces of soda ash on the low setting of the washing machine and hot, hot water. It rinsed in cold, but it was washed in hot water. Now, it was damp five minutes ago, but this is the Alabama sunshine. So, it's gonna dry out fairly fast. Now this paint is Pro Chemical and Dye. I got this off of Amazon Profab. And it's a transparent paint. I, I think I got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine containers. I ordered it from Amazon. I'm supposed to use gloves, but I did not grab any gloves, so maybe it'll be okay. And I'm just gonna paint some stripes. And this paint is heat activated. So I'm just gonna paint some turquoise stripes on this one. It says to use it full strength. And my fabric is still a little damp, so which makes it easier to spread. But I'm gonna paint some of this on this fabric. And then I'm going to put some water on here and see. I have experimented with this a little bit and I did water down this paint. That did not work well. It really didn't. This, this paint says it's heat sensitive, but I wanted to do it out here in the sunshine because I don't want to set it with a iron or anything like that because I don't want it to be flat. I want to do some different textures with it and to heat set it with like a, a fabric press or a, a regular iron, you would have to do it flat. Or I guess you could fold it, but anyway, my paint, my brush is still full of paint and I'm just gonna spread some water on this in between these rows and kind of let it bleed together. And just see what kind of effect. Now it'll be tomorrow before I can show the effects of this. Cause this has to, I'm gonna let this dry thoroughly out in the sunshine. So, we have a dark blue and a light blue stripe, stripe here. And what I want to do, I hope you can see this, is I want to pinch this up. And I recommend using gloves. And I should have grabbed some. I want to, and it's stuck. I want to pinch this and just start. And it's hot outside today. It won't take long for this to dry. But I want to pinch this up to a point here. And after you get to a certain point, you can just kind of lay it with uh, the spiral you had started. And I want to kind of flatten that out a little bit. And I'm going to lay this on the side over into a dry spot. Then just clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to cut me off another piece. This was in long strips. Cut me off another piece. I need to set some paint on here to keep it from blowing. And I would recommend putting the lid back on these too because it's hot and there's a breeze. And I just don't think it would last very long. We're going to just clean this up with this next piece. Now this is just, like I said, I have worked with this fabric some, but... I don't have a very good result, so I decided to tackle it again in a different direction this time. I can't stay out here long. I'm already sweating. 
humidity is high. There is a breeze. That helps. Okay, I've got this stained with the turquoise. And I'm going to go with a magenta this time. My paintbrush is a little wet. And I'm going to knock off the excess paint. Excess water, I mean. And I want to do this one. We'll go diagonal this time. Oh, and let me remind you to go and look and uh, find the video. It's a couple of videos down where I'm going to give away the quilt on Tuesday. Tuesday is my birthday, and I thought I would give you a gift for my birthday. It's a throw size and a kind of the primitive print fabrics, and I'm gonna be giving the light away sometime on Tuesday. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit, and this is a lot easier to work with when this fabric is wet or damp. It is easier to paint. It, it seems like it kind of sticks to the sticks to your plastic better. And I'm just going to go in between these rows, lighten this out, spread out some of this thick parts of this paint. And by folding it in different ways, I hope to get different color variations. Okay, now put the lid back on the magenta. And I'm going to do a little bit of yellow on here. Dry out my brush. Do a Bob Ross trick. Now I'm going to just tap this in different places. I'm just, I'm making this up as I go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this up as I go. But I do would like, I would like to create some of my own textiles, something that you can't just go and buy. Everybody don't have something unique. Get a little bit of water on my brush. Just kind of go over this thick part of this paint and just kind of rub it in. And this time, I'm going to do a fan fold. And I think we've got enough color on there. Close up the yellow. We're just going to do two pieces. And, oh, standing out here for long periods of time kills my back. And I'm just going to. Do it like you would do an old-timey paper fan. Just back and forth, 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 back and forth like this. And then I'm going to roll it into itself. Kind of smoosh it down for the best sun exposure. And there we go. I've got the two pieces that I'm experimenting with today. And let's see how those turn out. I'll show you tomorrow how those turn out. They have to dry thoroughly. Out here, let me just clean up my mess here. Don't want to waste any of this paint. It's not real expensive, but it's not free. So let's not waste any of it. Okay. And we'll just take, see how the water is with this one really good. You could lay, a, I mean, I'll try that later on, but I have seen where they have lay, laid like doilies and stuff on here. This is something you do not want to do in the house. It's messy, messy, messy. 
but I'm just wetting my fabric with this dirty water here. I think it already looks cool. I really need to get this a little wetter for what I want to do to this one. And this, I've been waiting on a really, really, really hot sun. A springtime sun would probably work, but you need a long day and a hot, hot sun to do this. Now, let's find a rinse my brush off a little bit. And tap, 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 tap. Clean the water off of it a little bit. And let's put a purple on here. Just a little bit. Let's see what it does. Let's do it in a circle. Like this. Just like that. We'll call this done. And we're going to take our fingers, our ungloved fingers that I have going on here. And this is killing my back. Standing this table is short. I need a taller table. This is killing my back. Then I'm going to scrunch it up, bring some points up, and just like that. And Lay it into a dry spot, like over here, and we will see what that looks like tomorrow. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.